<laughs> so I'm here with Eamon Ford at Music Connected 2013 and uh, we've just finished uh, uh, moderating a panel on uh, crowdfunding which is quite the hot subject at the moment. It seems like it's a subject that's covered in almost every digital music conference uh, uh, right now. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, of the various panels that you've probably seen on this subject, anything that you've seen evolving in the way that people talk about it and I hear more and more mentions of Pledge as opposed to Kickstarter as well. Yeah, well Pledge obviously being in the UK, it's kind of had that, it's got that head of steam and Kickstarter is obviously live in the UK from the end of last year yeah. anyway. But I think the big thing that kind of came out from the panel was that uh, in a bit like online dating and chat rooms, there, there used, used to be a stigma attached to those kind of 15 years ago before people knew the other. So if people do online dating, no, that's fine. And if people go on chat rooms, that's absolutely fine. So for artists to go on pledge, I think that era of the stigma and that we have failed and please give us money, yeah. that's over. So yeah. I, I think people are taking it. And I think that will mean that it will gather a lot more momentum and that it will be taken even more seriously. It will become an even bigger part of the business. So I think that's really good that... Uh, I guess those, unfortunately, maybe some of those artists kind of went through that and they were the ones that stumbled or fell. Yeah. But obviously, people like Ginger Wildheart in the UK and Amanda Palmer, obviously, is a classic example of that. And they've kind of, pr the, the, the tipping point has happened, I think, for crowdfunding. And it's, it's just seen as another option. And people were, some of the people talking about the, the, pan, uh, the projects that they were working on, it wasn't necessarily the full project to pay for the album or whatever. Yeah. They were coming in at certain parts of the campaign to go, and we need this, we might just need money for the market and distribution. That's all we want. Traditionally, they would have gone to a label for that. They realized that they can go to Pledge or yeah. another uh, crowdfunding model to pay for these things. So it's people are realizing that they can pick up elements of their campaign and crowdfund them. And I think, and I don't think the, the stigma, the shame is there, is, is there anymore. Yeah. I think people just see it as it's just another route. It's, it's there like an advance or, or anything else. It's, it's, it, it's a part of the business now. Yeah. And we see today, you know, it was completely sold out uh, conference uh, quite quickly as well. So uh, how, do you, how do you feel that uh, in terms of pulse uh, of the music, uh, independent music industry in the UK? Uh, uh, as this is quite a unique event in its in its format. Yeah, well, I think this is this is really good, and uh, obviously it's it, it's a kind of it's a reflection of, of aim to organise this and to have that indie community. And I will have to put up a hand as a bit of disclosure at this point in that I used to work for aim for about. 18 months a long time ago right in the in the very early days but I think the simple fact two things particularly if we're in an age of recession and which has hit the music industry yeah. before anywhere else the fact that attendance was really high and the fact that we had London on lockdown because it was Thatcher's funeral <laughs> today and uh, and uh, the site is with uh, within a stone's throw not that I'm in, endorsing st the throne of stones at <laughs> Thatcher's funeral but it was with, it was very very close to St Paul so yeah. Public transport was in chaos partly as a result of that. So, like those two kind of factors, the fact exactly, that they yeah. they had this kind of massive sellout event for a one-day event, I think I think that's really good. And I guess it's a sign of the strength of the independent community as well. And they want they want to while AIM supports the independent labels, the independent labels also support AIM. So I think that's a really good relationship to have, and they've kind of developed it really well. Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. So. Yeah. Uh, and uh, just to, to finish, you know, there's, there's going to be a few more events uh, in the coming month in the UK. So uh, Liverpool Sound City and the Great Escape after that. Uh, yeah. So well, how do you feel like uh, if conferences can keep themselves fresh in terms of panels and to make sure that people that attend keep getting something interesting out of them? Uh, I think kind of more more artists is probably really good because yeah. there, there is the industry is quite guilty of talking about the industry to the industry in industry terms so having artists on there is really good and there were some artists and uh, all on this panel so that they come with a different perspective and and uh, that was the thing that kind of came out of the crowdfunder panel as well is that artists have to have much more of a business sense than they did in the past because there's a lot more expectations off them and the money's a lot tighter so they it doesn't mean that they've sold out to the man and and yeah. and, 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 and buying down before they before the great dollar sign yeah, but exactly. Uh, I think just have an artist because simply because maybe 20 years ago artists didn't really care that much about the business yeah. 
uh, they just have their managers to deal with all that sort of stuff. But artists really have to know a lot about the business. There's a lot more stuff's transparent as well, and uh, particularly with digital change in the business, the artists have to be at the cutting edge yeah. of that. So I think. Yeah, having more artists there and kind of having music at the core of it. And some people do that and they kind of, they build a conference around kind of music events. So you've yeah. got like the Great Escape, it's got a load of, loads of bands on, or South by Southwest has loads of bands on. But I think something like this worked quite well because it was aimed, excuse the pun, specifically at the independent community. So yeah. this was saying this is, this is for indie labels rather than this kind of generic thing. And the other refreshing thing is that uh, when I first started to go to panels 12, 13 years ago, it was inevitable that somebody would go, oh, the majors, and it was like, it was probably the most tedious thing that everybody would just go, oh, the majors are idiots and they're stupid and they're evil. And uh, it's kind of, it, yeah, yeah it, it's kind of refreshing to just go, well, that's just a really reductive, backward thing to go. It's not, it's not progressing anybody, and I think just the fact that it's not point scoring anymore. I think that everybody... We're just going, we're talking about issues. These aren't issues specific. These, you've got the independent community talking about issues, but these aren't issues exclusive to the, the independents. Yeah, and yeah, I think exactly. the, the fact that you, there isn't this indie major dichotomy and of course there is in issues like consolidation and access to the market, that's true. but particularly digital, digital has been the great leveller and the independents can embrace the opportunities of digital just as quickly as the majors can because the cost base or the, the entry cost isn't, isn't as high. So I think, I think we've kind of got rid of that, fortunately, that whole majors are awful and indies are all great. And I think people would rather just get away from that catcalling and focus on the issues. And I think that's, that's a refreshing thing to see at a panel as well that those cliches have kind of gone fortunately of course. well that's uh, great thanks so much for your time and i think we're going to join the others at the pub because uh, everybody is uh, gone so uh, thank you so much you said my favorite verb <laughs> thank you very much <laughs>